Okay, guys, what's up? Today we're going to go over percents and the percentage formula. So if we have 90%, 90 is 30% of y, solve for y. Okay, so let's make a table, number percent. We're going to use these tables to later prove the percentage formula. So 90 is 30%. So y is our 100%, which is our complete whole. So we have to go to 100%, right? We have to show what 100% is, and this number would be y. So we can go to 1%. We can divide the top and the bottom by 30, divide by 30, divide by 30, and then we get 3 and 1%. Then we times by 100, we times by 100, and we go to 300. So we get y equals 300. Now let's do it again with the same sort of method for this problem as well. So number percent. So 75 is 35 percent of x. Solve for x. So 75, 35. Let's divide the top and bottom by 35. So let me just get out my calculator. 75 over 35. That's approximately 2.14 over 1%. So now we have to also just get to that 100%, which is our variable that we're solving for, which is x. And now we times the top and the bottom by 100 as well. So if we can do that. That would just be approximately 214. So x is approximately 214. And then um, if you were doing this problem without um, a calculator, you could first divide by the top and the bottom by 7 to make this a bit easier. And then you would have to do a bit of um, handwritten maths to come to the last part. To the conclusion, so 40 is 23% of C, solve for C. The number 40 percent is 23. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, take it back to 1%, take it to 100. And this would also be a variable C, 100%. We'll just write the percents, just remember. Um, so we divide top and bottom by 23. 40 over 23 is approximately 1.73. And then times by 100, that's approximately 173, which would actually round up to 174 because it was 1739. So this actually rounds up to... 174, right? Yes, 174. So over here we have C is approximately 174, okay? But now you may have noticed we did the same thing each time. We took our number, our initial number, we divided by the percent to so that we could come to 1%, and then we times by 100. So if we call this our number, we call this our percent, and we call this our our whole. So let's call it GW for the whole. We go number. We divide by the percent. So the number over the percent times by 100, which we'll should over 1 to make this a bit clearer, equals our whole. So we get 100 times our number over our percent is our whole. Now, Please do not just memorize this formula. Always go back to this, okay? Do not memorize. We always want to be thinking about math and then coming to our conclusions. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck one day, okay? Always go back to this before you come straight to this formula. It's never good to memorize formulas. But anyways, I hope you found that helpful.